I'm George Conracott. Uh, I'm an MD PhD student at, M at Emory University. Um, I'm in my fourth year of the program here. And I work on looking at immune risk factors for neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. Uh, so I grew up in the Washington, D.C. area. Um, I went out to uh, Baylor University for undergrad, um, and then I came here right after that. And so I've been at, in Atlanta for about six years now. Uh, so I'm a scientist because I think I had a lot of influences from close family members, so like my uncles and my aunts who are physicians, um, and some of them that are very intellectually curious, and they would always, you know, encourage me to ask questions about, you know, things that are going on in the world around me. And I think that just promoted me to, you know, always ask, like, why can't we do things better, or why can't we do things differently? And also just having good mentors in school, um, having good teachers that, uh, that told me, you know, to always ask questions and think about better ways of doing things and um, always kind of inspiring you to do, to do better and to, you know, do things in a, a new and different way. And I can think of a couple, you know, high school teachers um, that definitely, you know, pushed me forward, especially when I showed some interest in, in science and doing research and definitely pushed me to the next level and got me the right contacts to do that and get to where I am today. So actually, um, I've been back to my high school, uh, you know, several times to visit some of these teachers. One of the teachers actually works at a different school right now, um, and one of the teachers is still there. And um, fortuitously or unfortunately, she actually had developed Parkinson's disease. Um, so um, it's kind of really cool to go back and talk to her. And when I found out that she was diagnosed with pi Parkinson's and show her, oh, look, that's what I'm working on. And it's just kind of a very fulfilling moment for me. To, to show her, you know, look, like you inspired me to do this and this is what I'm doing and I'm actually, you know, tr you know, working on the disease that you, you know, have. So some of the work that I do, a lot of the work that I do involves flow cytometry. Um, and so that's pretty cool because we can actually look at a bunch of different um, properties of, of individual cells. Um, and we can look at thousands of cells at the same time th uh, through this machine. Um, and so the end, at, the, at the end, the data comes up looking at like colored dots and colored clouds. Um, and so we use that uh, to differentiate the different properties of these cells. Um, and we also you know, have microscopes in the lab where we can look at cells under the microscope. And that, that can be kind of cool because you get to see the cells glow um, under the microscope. And actually, that was one of my first things that I did, ever did in a lab was to look at you know, glowing cells under the microscope. And that was when I think the bug really bit. I was like, this is really, this is really cool. We did grew these cells and we you know, stained them um, to look at them under the microscope and then we uh, you know, saw them, I took pictures of them and it's, yeah, so it's pretty, it's pretty cool. And we have a room where we um, you know, work with cells and grow our cells and we also um, work with you know, the tissue that we, uh, that we have um, as well. You know, lab can be very frustrating at times and I mean also very exciting so it's nice, you get really close to those people that you work with because you know, they're talking you through the experiments that fail or when you, you know, have an exciting finding you want to go run and tell your friends and so they're right there and you can tell them, hey look, look this experiment worked or this is a cool, cool finding. If I were to encourage you know, young people to go into medical research, I would say it's a very exciting field. It's always changing. There's always new things to learn. Um, you know, if you think about 20, 30 years ago where we were in medicine and in science, um, we've come really far. We can treat a lot more you know, diseases. We're you know, doing cool things like, you know, not me personally, but in, in clinic, you know, injecting stem cells into people to treat neurodegenerative, neurodegenerative disease. Um, we, you know, have, you know, new drugs that, you know, can eradicate different kinds of cancers. Um, and we didn't have all of that 20, 30 years ago. And if you want to make an impact on large groups of people, um, on people's daily lives, um, I think that's, it's a really important field to go into. And, you know, it's, you know, a s long process, but, you know, step by step you gain all the tools you need to do it. Um, and there's great mentors in the field and, you know, people are really passionate about what they do in science. And so, it's a great field to be in.